So Carmen was expected to take the stand today. However, the judge pushed his testimony until tomorrow morning. However, we did hear from the insurance claims adjuster who dealt with Carmen's insurance claim for his sunken boat, as well as a marine architect who talked about the structure of the boat. Ultimately, the essential question here in this case is whether Carmen made alterations to the boat intentionally to sink the boat and make an insurance claim for $85,000. Insurance companies are refusing to pay the $85,000 claim. National Liability and Boat U.S. canceled the policy, saying the loss of Carmen's boat was not fortuitous or accidental, and that he knowingly and intentionally changed the structure of his boat. This was discussed at length with Eric Green, an expert witness in marine architecture at trial. His report says that Nathan Carmen made three changes to the boat. He took off the trim tabs and then ineffectively repaired the holes in the boat's transom left from removing those trim tabs. He added 150 gallon fuel tanks to both sides and he removed the forward bulkhead. Green says this all structurally changed the boat. Still, Green concludes that there was no reason to suspect that the vessel could have sunk as quickly as Carmen testifies it did. The insurance company also says Carmen intentionally and knowingly did not make any distress calls despite being within feet of the devices necessary to do so three times while preparing to abandon the ship. Carmen was found in a life raft near Martha's Vineyard eight days after the boat sank in 2016. The reason this case is gaining so much attention is because some investigators believe Carmen intentionally sunk the boat to kill his mother. He's also still a person of interest in Connecticut, where he was the last person to see his millionaire grandfather before he was shot to death in his Windsor home in 2013. District Judge McConnell rejected insurance companies from presenting evidence of that 2013 murder. Now Carmen is expected to take the stand tomorrow when the trial resumes at 930. I'm in Providence, Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.